Hello. Okay, here I am, continuing the nether build. I'm trying to build on the other side of the gate. Oh, there's a pig man. Oh, there's a ghast in the water. Look at that. He's hovering. That's my son in the background. Gonna keep on digging. Oh my gosh, what was that? He fired into the portal. This is a problem. You should always carry a steel and flint with you. That was uh, pretty wild yesterday. Um, I went off the edge into the lava. And then um, on the other side, um, the gas also destroyed the gate. And I didn't have a flint and whatever it's called, to reignite the portal. So I was stuck in this. I had to reboot and get in the game. Uh, let me show you what I've done in the world. Okay, so I did eventually get around. It took a long time, but I built cobblestone wall roof all the way around. Our opening is actually around here. We're going to build a shaft all the way to the top. Um, and then what else we did is we joined up with these guys. These guys are actually harmless. Funnily enough, the zombies in the nether are harmless. But we built the up here. We built underneath the soul stone. I'm going to teach you the property of that in a second. That's very cool. The other unique thing is these uh, red blocks. And then lastly we have, oh there was a gasp, see that, that white thing that's floating around there? That's a gasp, they shoot fireballs and blow things up. There's another one, oh boy, here he goes. Oh my gosh, that's a blow me up. Two of them. Let me get out of there. I didn't bring my bow, so we're not even going to go down that path yet. But I wanted to mine that other bit. I think I need my iron pickaxe for the quartz, so you've got a couple of substances. Now let's go over here and have a look at this thing in the ground. This is called soul sand, but watch what happens when I walk through it. I slow down. This goes really effective in traps later on, so I'm going to mine some more just to demonstrate what this does. And also, an interesting thing, now we're on the subject, you can hit flames and it makes them go out. There we go. So that, I've pulled this roof extensively so I wouldn't be hit by these long range attacks. But let me show you the, the, um, the soul stand in longer use. I'll just put them here. You can always remind things. Now watch, see how it goes really slow in the soul sand? So if I have lots of this together, that will be really effective for my traps. I'll be able to see things and slow things down before they happen. I'm going to bring this nether rack into the overworld, along with the soul sand. I'll maybe take half. And then I'm going to show you the properties. I'm also going to pick up my iron pickaxe so I can uh, mine out that quartz. The quartz is used for the solar cells of all things. Pickaxe, there we go. Excellent. I might bring my bow in now. Now that I've got my base set up, I can actually start moving stuff in. Um, I don't need all of this. I need this. Our water is useless in the nether. It evaporates on contact. I'll take the glass. Glass is useful. I need to actually make some more glass. Alright. 
let's go in here and I've really ba I've basically taken all the stuff from here and moved it in okay here we go going back inside I want to go get that um, quartz so you can see how it's going see how I go slow in there um, and where are you you're around the corner aren't you Yeah, there guy. Let me get this out. And as usual, as usual, I um mine what I can with the iron pickaxe and revert to the stone pickaxe. There aren't many substances in this roll, but the soul sand I think is the most effective. I'm going to use this and I'm going to build up this wall here. Getting what it's called it's called flint and steel and flint is the other part is the steel part makes sense so I'm gonna take that and I'm um, we're also going to make the enchantment table so we're in uh, for the enchantment table if we go into the menu we need four obsidian two diamond and one book well the obsidians floating in the air so we're gonna mine that easily so I'm gonna take my this pickaxe, I'm going to take two diamonds and one book. I've got probably, I do like this area. I moved, I built this place up there, but this is just so much more convenient because it's right next to my, my base. So I might put it in that corner over there. Um, all right, let me show you how this flint works, flint and steel works. Oh, creeper. Let's get in here. Yeah. I love fighting these guys in water. put this let me put this somewhere useful that's not gonna cause a fire um, here we go up here now watch this I'm gonna take my flint and steel look stays a light fantastic huh Days of light. And we're going to go and uh, get the obsidian. Now it's time for us to cut obsidian. Nothing cuts through it except the diamond pickaxe. I need three pieces. Oh, wait, this is going to auto save. I set the auto save to 15 minutes because. You know, I was dying all the time and I was always in a funny place and I had to rework what I'd done. So I didn't want to do that anymore. I was actually, uh, I'm actually a safe player, I think. Takes very to mine through, doesn't it? But two so far and get the third. Third, excellent. Now we'll go back outside. 
and we'll make the enchantment table. In fact, just with the amount of time I've been mining and everything, but I'm going to assume day 50. You probably don't need the leather armor as much. It's great to have at the beginning something that just covers you and keeps you protected, but uh, long term, don't need it. All right, we're going to stick to iron from now on, I think. Um, and you can only really enchant iron. I've never tried to enchant uh, the other ones. All right, let's make our enchantment table. Oh, four. Dang it. Be right back. Back with my four obsidian. All right, here we go. Boom. Done. Yeah, we're going to move it in this corner. Day 53, maybe? It's four. All right. Now I'm going to build a big area for this um, library. Here, the bookshelves will go there, here, bookshelves here. They'll go here, I think. There we go. And then we'll get rid of this thing. And we're going to start doing our sugar canes. We're going to start mining the sugar cane. So, what we do, I'm going to help us out here. We, oh, well, we are going to need the cows. We need the cows for the leather. So there you go. Cows, you're still going to hang around. All right, let's start mining these guys. Okay, heaps. Uh, let's get some cows and start making these books. Sorry cows, slaughterhouse time. see what else massive culling going on here there we go all right I think we got enough let's see what I got out of all that we got eight nice that was a good collection all right now let's make our books so bump a bump so if we go to the uh, crafting table we can make these guys and then we need three paper for one leather. And then a bookshelf is, you need the wood. So let's go this, I'm gonna bring this all down. 57 pages. <clears throat> and we need uh, three books per thing. So let's just demonstrate one. You understand how to make it. One, two, three. And then we can go one, bookshelf. And that's essentially how you make Okay, so we made the bookcase and then we just place it. We have to place it around here, so I'm going to place the one first one here. So they're going to stack up all along there, all along there. It just increases the power of this guy, this crafting table. And the way it works is you put your weapon there. I'm just going to demonstrate. But you put your lapis here and then you're able to uh, spend your experience enchanting your weapons. So I've got 30... Two, so I've got a lot I can use to enchant. So that's really the basic premise about the enchantment table. 
we've learnt a bit about um, the nether. We will uh, uh, continue in the nether until we can get to the base. Um, there are a couple of fortresses that we've got to get to.